Hey, this is Dr. Corey Glenn with Blue Sky Bio, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the Blue Sky Bio Direct Cut Drills. Now these are the guided solution that we had that predates us developing a fully guided kit, and so this was our method of guided surgery uh, prior to that. And it's worth noting that these are one and the same drills as are found in the standard Blue Sky Bio surgical kits. So if you previously have a Blue Sky Bio uh, surgical kit, just the standard kit that you would use for freehand surgery, those drills are one and the same as the direct cut drills. So I wanna remove that confusion. It's just how that they're being used uh, defines them as direct cut drills. So with these drills, since they are just your standard surgical drills from the kit, we have to approach depth control differently. So if you look at the picture on the right, this is a picture of the drills in our fully guided keyless kit. Uh, which I love. It's a great kit. It's a true fully guided surgical kit. Uh, the drill stops on that are built into the actual drill. And so you would just simply go down until the drill stop bottoms out on the guide tube. However, contrast that to the picture on the left. These are just the standard surgical drills and there is no stop built into those. So how do we go about controlling depth? Well, uh, in days past, what you had to do was print off this little surgical stop and it was a pain in the butt because you'd end up losing those. So um, we came up with a different solution and the solution was to actually build depth control into the guide rather than into the drill. And that ended up working really well. So you see in the picture, the, the picture on the left shows the 3D rendering and you see the guide tube and then there's this semi-circle, this half circle uh, green object. That is your drill stop. So it allows you to come in from the buckle and to seat your drill into the guide tube but your handpiece head is now going to become your drill stop. When you drill deep enough that it touches and hits on the top of that green stop, now you know you're at depth. Uh, you see the same thing in the surgical guide on the right with this full arch surgical guide. And so this is a, a really easy uh, thing to do, but it is unique to our software. So you're not gonna find this necessarily in other uh, guided surgery softwares. This is something that the Blue Sky software builds into your surgical guide. So let's contrast the direct cut drill surgery approach with traditional guided surgery. So traditionally with guided surgery, you're going to have to use uh, more elaborate kits, which typically ends up meaning uh, higher cost involved with those. With the Blue Sky Bio direct cut drill approach, it's not a kit per se at all. I mean, certainly if you have the standard surgical kit, that will serve the purpose, but you could also very easily just buy some select drills and use those as your guided surgery drills. With traditional guided surgery, you're gonna do sequential drilling and you're gonna start with smaller uh, in length and narrower drills and work your way up. Whereas the direct cut drill approach is a single drill protocol. So your first drill is your final drill. It's a one and done approach. Uh, traditional guided surgery, depending on the kit, sometimes access can be really difficult. Whereas with the direct cut drills, it's a very easy access because you can use the short drill. You know, you can assume you're placing a shorter implant in a site with minimal clearance and you'll be able to use the short drill. And I've never really had a case where I couldn't get the surgery done due to access uh, with the surgical guide and the direct cut drills. Cost again is going to be significantly lower for the direct cut drills because again, you don't necessarily have to buy a, f a full guided kit. You could just buy, if you wanted to do just pilot hole guides, you could literally buy two drills, maybe a narrow diameter drill in a short and a long and plan all your surgeries for that. And then finally, it's adaptable to any implant line. So you might say, Corey, listen, I want to use a, a really high priced implant. I don't like uh, you know, using a, an affordable American made implant like Blue Sky Bio. Well, good news for you because this is adaptable for any implant line. Um, the body does not know whose drill made the hole and it doesn't know whose titanium you're sticking into that hole. So if you wanna use a different system, by all means, go right ahead. It will absolutely work for that. Now, I should mention there's a couple of cons with the direct cut approach. There's no one size fits all solution for any system out there. And with the direct cut drills, I feel like its biggest shortcoming is that it's guided surgery, but it's not guided implant placement. So with this, you get a, a guided osteotomy, but then you remove your guide and you place your implant freehand. Now, generally, that's not a, a big deal. If you've got an ideally located osteotomy, um, you, most times that's not a problem, but there are times when you exactly need to replicate your uh, surgical plan. Uh, the one that comes to mind would be immediate load where you've made a restoration ahead of time. You've got to control exact depth, 
timing, every single thing about that implant. And when you place it freehand, there's a little bit of an opportunity to get off with that. You can, with the direct cut approach, make a depth control guide so that when you're placing the implant, you place it through a separate guide and it forces you to bottom out your placement at the right position, but it does not control trajectory. Uh, so that's one downside. We mentioned that one advantage is that it's a single drill approach, but one disadvantage is that it is a single drill approach. So one downside to that is that when you only have a single drill, you've got less opportunity to undersize. It's a one shot thing. So unless you make multiple guides, whatever you're guiding is your final drill and that's it. And so you've got less opportunity to undersize. That means if you get in a surgery and you find that the bone is much softer than anticipated, you might end up with less than ideal primary stability. Okay, so my general approach, knowing that that was a possibility, was that I would either make two guides, one for the drill undersize and one for the final drill, and eventually I found that I could just make one guide, but I always undersized it by a final drill. Um, so that way, if I got into it, most times I could just place the implant right into that undersized osteotomy, but suppose it was really hard, I might just pick up my final drill freehand and enlarge usually just the crestal portion, and that was usually good to get me nice primary stability. And then finally, the access. Again, we do have great access, but it's not as good comparatively as the Blue Sky Keyless Kit. And so those are really the only cons that I can think of. Now again, these are just the standard surgical drills, and so just like with most kits, you're going to have a long and a short drill for each implant diameter. Here you're seeing the purple is the final drill for a 3.5 Biomax implant. The yellow band is the final drills for a 4.3 Biomax implant. And again, you see long and short drills there. And the guide tube is going to be matched to the cutting portion of that drill. So you can see here that the tube is very tightly adapted. You're not going to have much wiggle room or anything. It's going to keep you very much in the right trajectory. However, there is the possibility that as you drill really deep, let's suppose you're placing a very deep implant, you're guided for most of the osteotomy, but when you get to that last little bit, it goes to the shank, and now your shank is much narrower in diameter, and thus it's not engaging the guide tube. So you have the potential there to be not guided throughout part of your surgery. So we came up with a solution to that, and they're called cut shank sleeves. So the addition of this cut shank sleeve in between the cutting uh, flutes and the handpiece head now makes the remainder of that drill shank be the same diameter as the cutting portion. So you never encounter a, a portion of the surgery where you're not being guided during your osteotomy. So that was a nice solution for that. And here you see again just the model of the uh, surgery being done and so with this the drill stop has been figured into the guide and we know that that's going to force us to bottom out at the appropriate position that's uh, a one drill protocol so this was a three five drill the cut shank sleeve is in place so we would simply go up and down with that um, i used a pecking motion i'm not trying to get to depth all in one pass i usually go one to two millimeters come out clear the debris from the flutes let some water get down in there, go another millimeter or two, and I just repeat that process up and down until it gets down to the bottom and the handpiece head bottoms out on that uh, semicircular stop. So let's now look at the software portion. So we're in the Blue Sky Bio software. I've already gone through the process of merging an STL, and really all we need to do now is build the guide. So in your implant list panel, go to implant list, and you'll see up here at the top, if you have chosen a Blue Sky Bio implant, one of your options for your drill kit type in this drop down menu is going to be the direct cut drills. Okay, so this is not going to pop up if you've chosen a different brand of implants because it assumes you're not going to be using those drills. If you are planning on using our drills and putting in someone else's implant, just choose the closest in size implant that Blue Sky Bio offers and tell the software that that's what you're using. Same length, same general diameter, and you can proceed through this process. So we're going to tell it direct cut drills. I'm going to turn the surgical guide tube on, and you'll see once I do that, that now the surgical software has built in this green object, which is the drill stop. And that is where your handpiece head needs to bottom out on to create uh, the proper depth with this osteotomy. You do have the freedom to move your offset around in this. So I'm looking here, and there's a tiny bit of impingement. This actually would not be a problem, but let's just assume that uh, it was. In general, if you've chosen a 10 millimeter or shorter implant, it's going to default to the short drill, which is great because 
typically we want to go as short as possible. However, let's suppose that that wasn't going to work. Deep tissue, whatever the case may be, I can come down here to the offset and I can increase that. So let's go up by one millimeter. You're going to get a warning from the software and now you see that that stop jumps up. Now why did that happen? Because now the software knows that with the the position that you're putting the guide tube, that short drill is no longer long enough to get down and create an osteotomy down to the apex of where you're wanting. And thus it kicked you up to the long drill. So you've got the freedom to move your offset around here wherever you want. If I go another millimeter, I can move that up, but the drill stop stays the same because again, we've only got two options to work with, the short or the long drill. So I'm going to change this back to eight millimeters. And now that's back to the default. This is what I would go with. And let's now lock that implant and go to the guide panel and make the surgical guide. So we're building it on the blue, uh, blue model, normal, it's on the mandible. Uh, I've already drawn the curve previously. So if I pull that back up and now we could create the surgical guide. Um, when you do that, a unique window is going to pop up that typically does not come up. And this is where you have to tell the software what handpiece you're using. Now, why is this important? Because various hand pieces, pieces will swallow up different amounts of the drill shank. Some hand pieces have a large head and they swallow up a lot of that drill shank where some hand pieces have a very small head. And that changes the length of available drill and that would change the position of that drill stop. So you've got numerous options inside of this. You could choose from any of these hand pieces that are listed or you could simply choose custom. So suppose you have an implant handpiece that is not listed there. The software gives you some indications here of what you need to be measuring. You need to measure this distance from here to here. If you look at this picture, this is an off-brand handpiece that I'm now measuring the depth of that uh, drill. And so I would write this number down and I would input this into the software. So if I wanted to change that, I would go to set custom sizes, and this will give me the ability to now put in that number for the short and long drill that I actually measure. Uh, so with my actual handpiece, how much of the drill is sticking out and available for cutting. And once you do that, you would simply go to save, and it would make the surgical guide. So you can now see the completed surgical guide, and you see also that the drill stop is incorporated into the surgical guide. That is this half circle object right here. This all represents the plastic which will get printed and you're actually going to need to put a metal guide sleeve into this that has been appropriately positioned um, and sized by the software. You didn't have to do that. So the question now is which drills do I use? Which parts do I need to purchase? And that's very easy to find. You need to go to your panels and there's a panel called the parts panel. Go to that and it's going to tell you that you're using this implant, in this case a Bio Biomax 5x10, you're going to use this metal cylinder. You're going to be using the drill 50S, that's a, a, a final drill for a 5 millimeter implant in the short length. And then the drill shaft. This is, uh, it's referred to on the website, you'll see as the shank sleeve. And if you wanted, you could just simply add these parts to your cart. It will take you right to the website and you can check out with those parts now. Um, anything that you didn't need, you could simply add, uh, or I'm sorry, remove from your cart. And the last thing that I would show you is that let's suppose that you did want to uh, use a different size drill. So I know many, many people that regardless of what implant they're placing, they only make pilot hole guides. So how might you approach that? Maybe you're super cheap and you only want to buy one size drill in a long and short. I understand that's a, that's a good option just to have a guided pilot hole. So plan your implant out, use whatever size you really want to use, put it in the position in the bone exactly where you want it. And then last thing prior to building the guide, you can go and unlock this and just right click it and say replace the implant. Now, whereas I was placing a 5x10 uh, Biomax implant, if I wanted to kick this down to a much narrower drill, I might just tell it now that it's a 3.5x10. That's going to default it to a much smaller drill, about a 2.9 drill. Um, and then we can simply say, okay, it maintains the position, the trajectory, the depth. Everything about that is going to be the exact same, only it is now going to kick you down to a smaller drill. 
And so that needs to be done prior to making the surgical guide. If I've already made the guide and now I apply that change, nothing is going to change. My guide is not going to reflect that because the guide has already been made. So do this prior to making your surgical guide. And that would allow you to now uh, perhaps only purchase the drill in 35 S and L, the short and long. And every single case you do, you plan your implants out exactly how you would like them. But prior to making the guide, tell it you're using the direct cut drills and then change it to a narrower diameter implant of the same length. And that will kick you down to a smaller drill. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, the direct cut drill is a great solution. I used it for several hundred uh, implant surgeries prior to using the fully guided keyless kit. All things being equal, I prefer fully guided surgery, but this is an excellent option as well and uh, certainly something that you can use.